Hi, we're Monkey Teely, and you're watching Iry Fire's Burning Sessions. Just in one, two. You think you're right, but well, I think you're wrong, and your emotions. So far gone Seem to me that you are really looking for this You're making it so clear And I should really notice I was probably about five Walking through Toronto And I saw a guitar in a shop And I thought I definitely want to be playing guitar when I get older yeah, it's about the same age for me. Listening to uh, you know Michael Jackson, Cyndi Lauper, and those guys at the beginning of MTV, and I was hooked. I was like a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> when my mom used to play all the time pong on the desk, I used to dance. You got the rhythm in me. You, you, the way you, you, where you, you do these things to me. I love the Chili Peppers, Incubus, you know, some Nirvana. Lots of heavy stuff like System of a Down, Guns N' Roses. All that stuff really brought it together for me. You know, funk and rock together, just make it. That's, that's what I love. You're making me want to love you endlessly. Our influences, vast, too many, every genre of music, everything, jazz, hip-hop, rock, classical, um, it's too great, I mean, we started off a lot of clips of influence for us all, a lot of reggae, and but then we are bombarded with American culture on the airwaves and television, so we absorb pop culture there, and then, uh, yeah. This is quite a rounded group. When we first got the band together, we had a different drummer just to make jokes about the antique and slang. So we thought, well, Monkey Teely sounds pretty catchy and good, and it'll get everybody laughing. So I think we stuck with that. Since Teely means penis and dialect, you know get a little chuckle out of everyone who actually understands what it means. And it's fun when people don't know what it means and they say it a lot. Mm. <laughs> There's always some kind of a dream to have a crowd, you know, screaming for more tea Lee. Tea Lee, tea Lee. You know. Cause I love to hear the words you say When I say it is black You say it is white Left you long ago, but you keep on putting up a fight. Funny how we always running through the same old, same routine. Just another chance for me to know just what it is you mean. Are we self taught musicians? Uh, I think all of us are. All of us have. Uh... Yeah, listened and uh, picked up little bits and bobs from other uh, players that we've known. Uh, little formal lessons, I'm sure, here and there, but uh, yeah, we just got a fever for it and went with it. Just learned uh, rapidly. Start learning your instrument the first time and just absorb like a sponge. Making me want to love you. people I would like to work with. I would like to work with the Tragically Hip out of Canada. They're very, uh, well, nobody sounds like them. So.
so they're quite unique, but they, they draw from a lot of uh, mainly rock influences. I think I would love to work with the Chili Peppers just to feel that, that vibe and energy they, they put out when they're recording, how they come up with the songs, or how they used to do it. If there was a Caribbean influence, none of them influence me anymore. You know, the only ones that they are not even from here is Steel Pulse, they're from England. And, and that's the best thing I can think of. They, they held me close to reggae, as long as I can remember. So. And Bob's dead, so you know, he's out of the picture. So. I see Ted Well. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yes. We can do it, and if I had the skill, it would be Roland Prince for me. Just being our premier jazz guitarist on the island, working with Elvin Jones and a bunch of greats, so. Yeah, he's a hero for me in particular. He's certainly done probably, I think, the most any Antiguan musician has done to get to that height of technical soundness in that genre of music. Is great. When we play, the crowd that does see us, because we only play one place, people just, they, they, they love it. They get, they're part of it. What is the we place play. that you play at? The Lime Lounge in English Harbor. Yeah, we get the crowd jamming, dancing up, you know, they're, they're accustomed, when they come here, they, they listen to a lot of calypso and reggae, um, which is the majority of what is being played out there, soca music. Uh, we cover a lot of uh, Western styles, you know, rock, reggae, jazz, mainly rock, reggae is what we play. And um, when we can take a lot of the music that people listen to, the tourists normally listen to, and jazz it up a bit, or reggae it up a bit, they, they take to that a lot, you know, they want to come to the Caribbean and they want to listen to, uh, to Caribbean music, but they would really like to jam out to the music they're accustomed to in a beautiful setting as well. Is it still recording? Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. One, two, three. It's so crazy, something small but necessary A thing I don't mind doing has turned out to be a must but It's so crazy that a little word or two or three Not sending, not responding, turns into this lack of trust well, If I get a text from you I'll send you a reply if I don't, it's no big deal There might not be a reason why Advantages for being a musician, you can do things that most people can't. You know, you're part of a, an exclusive club of people that you usually end up being very good friends with, you know, like a communal thing. Um, you meet people, and you meet new friends, you know learn the culture, learn the music, you know. Do you get to grow as a person? You come out of your shell, you get to touch, you know, people? <laughs> <laughs> In a certain way. The audience looks to you like you're performing magic and they're jamming and they're dancing and, and having a great time. You, people can, can, um, can appreciate the effort put in. So I just hit send and now another message is on the way and it says if I get a text from you I'll send you a reply and if I don't it's no big deal there might not be a reason why you the disadvantages <laughs> usually have the money to go with it. It's just fucking hard. It's it's almost impossible for musicians these days. There are, there will never be any more big rock stars. You know, that's done. It's the internet and uh, you have to show, you have to play your music if you're gonna if you're gonna get anywhere here. We got it figured out with the Lime Lounge. <laughs> <laughs> you bring them to you. That's right. Yeah. Of course, breaking down is, is a disadvantage when you got to move all your equipment all over the place. 
Well, we got that figured out too. Yeah. Lime Lounge. <laughs> if you take it seriously, it will take you places. And for the disadvantage, um, if you work hard at it, you have sleepless nights. It's poetry. <laughs> it's no big deal. There might not be a reason why You say you want an explanation Many have been told Can't you see by now That all your shit is getting old You think I shut you out oh, Baby, that's not true So maybe my last text to you Is to tell you that we're through What are the stereotypes of being a musician? Egotistical. Um, <laughs> Self-absorbed, you know, kind of in your own element, maybe separated from everybody else. You're in your own, you know, commune when you're a musician. You know other people, which, you, you know, when it comes to most other people, you don't have that in common with them. So it's kind of like that uncomfortable, what do we talk about, you know, for two minutes and then, oh, okay, see ya. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, you know that's I mean? true. <laughs> yeah, so people might not see you as being approachable or very approachable. You know? When you play music in Antigua, you have to play what the crowd wants you to play. So unless there's some diehards, and that's probably like 10 people, <laughs> they'll come see you. Yes, a bit limited because of the size. You know, you have just a few um, genres of music that are mainly popular here. It's, it's impossible to play what you love anywhere and get anything for it, any recognition. This band has always tried to, uh, to, to break through that and it's, it's, it's been a long, hard road, I think. How long have we been together? Like five years? Eight years, man. Eight, eight years, years, you see? Eight yeah. years. I don't even remember. It's just been forever. So, thank God for the season and the people it brings with it, you know? Yeah, you have six months where you got a lot of people to play to that appreciate your type of music and uh, big crowds and, yeah, it's great fun. Uh, practical advice for anybody trying to get into the music industry in Antigua? Never give up, man. Never give up. That's right. Keep on playing. <clears throat> Try to sing in key. <laughs> a lot of people are just not doing. Um, learn to play an instrument, that helps. Try to inspire yourself as much as possible. There's, because there's such a lack of, uh, of uh, options uh, and you gotta seek them, but you have, to, you have to make a point to seek your inspiration. You know, you can't just sit there and be bored and not play for days or weeks on end because you didn't watch a movie that made you want to play or you didn't listen to this band and, or see this show. You've got to, uh, yeah, you've got to seek your inspiration constantly and, uh, and then you'll eventually get somewhere. Say it again, O'Neill. Say it again. Never give up. <laughs> <laughs> Never give up. Always practice. Never stop practicing. There's a lot to learn. Let's keep on practicing. Yeah. Can't hurt. Mm -hmm.